So finally, part three says that at this point C on the curve, the gradient is two. And it wants us to find the coordinates of C and give, a, give the answer in exact form. So it's kind of a back to front question. We know that when we differentiate the curve, we get sec theta. So we already know that dy by dx is sec theta. And it's telling us that at C, dy by dx equals 2. So if we make sec theta equal to 2, which is the same as cos theta being equal to a half, we're looking for a negative, a small negative theta value. So the inverse cos of a half gives us a theta value of pi over 3. But if I put pi over 3 in here, I'm, not, I'm going to get a positive value, not a negative value. So we need to think about what other values we can have for cos. And the cos graph is symmetrical about the y-axis um, with this value here being pi over 2 and this value here being negative pi over 2. So if pi over 3 is no good to us then negative pi over 3 is going to be what we want. So we can then put negative pi over 3 into here and here to work out the x and y coordinates. So x is 2 lots of negative pi over 3. Um, plus sine of 2. Oh, plus sine of 2 theta. So that's negative 2 pi over 3 as well. Sine of negative 2 pi over 3 is uh, negative root 3 over 2. So that's my exact coordinate for x and for y which is 4 sine theta and a 4 sine negative pi over 3. comes out at negative 2 root 3. So that's that's the pair. We've got x is minus 2 pi over 3 minus root 3 over 2 and y is minus 2 root 3.